AMD success story is one for the ages. A company that was once at the verge of bankruptcy is now ruling the CPU market with its Ryzen and Threadripper lineup of processors. While its direct competitor, Intel, is still playing catch-up with AMD, the company has successfully built a good rapport with its customers which will help its market dominance in the long run too. And a recent leak suggests that AMD is trying to bring the same success in the smartphone chipset business as well. The chipset in question here is the Ryzen C7. So does the Ryzen C7 mobile processor sound too good to be true? Well, let's find all about it right now. Starting off with the leak, the Ryzen C7 looks to be a flagship processor going head-to-head -head against the likes of Qualcomm, MediaTek and the others. And in a time when every high-end chipset right now is manufactured under 7nm process, the Ryzen C7 will use TSMC's 5nm technology. Well, that is to be expected because every forthcoming mobile SoC should be based on the same fabrication process. Anyway, this is a 64-bit processor with an octa-core CPU. But the core setup is where it gets really exciting. Featuring ARM's relatively new Dynamic U Big Dot Little System, the AMD Ryzen C7 features two Goggin Pro Mobile, two Goggin Mobile, and four ultra-efficient ARM Cortex-A55 CPU cores. Here, the Goggin Pro is based on ARM's latest Cortex-X1 and the standard Goggin cores are based on Cortex-A78 cores. Though the A78 is an expected upgrade over the high-performance Cortex-A77 cores, the Cortex-X1 is a potentially groundbreaking feat of achievement, one that is supposed to compete against the leading Apple's A-series Bionic chipsets. The standard Cortex-A78 cores here is an efficiency-focused yet powerful CPU with about 20% improvement in sustained performance over its predecessor, the A77. On the other hand, the X1 is an entirely new design route from ARM which emphasizes entirely on the performance end of things, with a significant disregard for power and area. Or as ARM calls it, performance-first design. The Cortex-X1 also falls under ARM's new Cortex-X custom program where licenses can customize and differentiate over ARM's base design. In short, the primary difference between the X1 and the A78 is most definitely the performance. This is pulled off by physically increasing the core structure. In terms of benchmark scores, the Cortex-X1 delivers 22% integer performance upgrade over Cortex-A78 cores. Similarly, it achieves two times better machine learning performance against the same E77 and the E78 cores. But as I said earlier, it actively understates the other two aspects of the PPA triangle. As a result, the performance bump comes at a cost of significant power usage, which is projected to be up to twice as compared to Cortex-A77 or A78 cores. On a different note, since 2016, Samsung has implemented Mongoose Core design in its Exynos lineup of chipsets. But from now on, the company will implement ARM's CPU core design instead of just the intellectual property unlike Qualcomm. This means Samsung can finally achieve better performance and efficiency with the Exynos SoC comparable to their Snapdragon counterparts. Hence, we can finally expect to see competitive performance on the same Galaxy flagships that get sold in different regions. Moving to the AMD Ryzen C7, the leak suggests AMD is following Qualcomm's direction. Its high-performance Goggin Pro Mobile Core clocked at 3 GHz and Goggin Mobile Core clocked at 2.60 GHz are slightly modified versions of their Cortex counterparts. So we can expect even faster and better performance on these CPUs provided that the Ryzen C7 actually exists. Moving on to the graphics side of things, the Ryzen C7 is tipped to equip with the Radeon RDNA 2 GPU microarchitecture with 4-core custom compute units running at 7000 MHz. Yes, you heard that right, RDNA 2, not RDNA. We've yet to see RDNA 2 Radeon RX graphics for PCs and consoles hit the shelves, and the news about AMD working on its mobile equivalent definitely raises some eyebrows. Yet, the RDNA GPU technology had already made headlines in a different league. 
It is supposed to feature on Samsung's upcoming Exynos 1000 SoC while ditching ARM's Mali GPU. With this move, the Exynos 1000 reportedly brags nearly three times better performance than Qualcomm's latest Adreno 650 GPU in GFX Bench's Aztec Ruins test. Moreover, the RDNA 2 mobile on Ryzen C7 claims 45% faster performance than the Adreno 650. Additionally, and this one's a big one, this GPU will further go on to grab the title of the world's first GPU to come with real-time hardware accelerated ray tracing and variable ray shading. In case you don't know, ray tracing is a rendering technique to deliver realistic lighting effects in fields like gaming CGI, animation, etc. Popularized by NVIDIA's RTX lineup of graphics card, real-time ray tracing has become one of the most sought-after features in recent GPUs. Hence, ray tracing is going to be an exciting feature for mobile gaming enthusiasts. Likewise, variable ray shading refers to a technique of allocating GPU's compute power at varying rates when rendering an image. This is an effective way of reducing the load from the GPU by eliminating a consistent level of detail in certain parts of an image frame. But don't worry, the difference is very minimal to the point where you may not even recognize it. So with features like ray tracing and variable ray shading, the Ryzen C7's GPU is on its way to becoming the most powerful smartphone GPU too. Moving on, AMD's Ryzen C7 will also come with MediaTek's 5G modem, most likely the Helio M70 found in the company's Dimensity lineup of chipsets. But this also means the C7 won't support millimeter wave of the 5G spectrum. It will also come with dual 5G SIM support. Similarly, you will get all the best features you can expect on a flagship SoC, like LPDDR5 RAM support, the latest UFS 3.1 storage protocol, and support for 2K resolution display with higher 144Hz refresh rate, HDR10 plus contrast, and a 10-bit color depth. Overall, the AMD Ryzen C7 SoC is one ambitious chipset, provided that it's real. The Goggin, Goggin Pro CPU cores, and the RDNA 2 mobile GPU look very promising. But the company has not confirmed any single aspect of this leak, yet the company has not disproven it either. So yes, the Ryzen C7 does sound too good to be true, and it may all be some enthusiastic fanboy shaping his or her dream mobile chipset. But should this be an actual product, Qualcomm, MediaTek, and Samsung are going to have tough competition on their hands. Okay, so that was all for the AMD Ryzen C7 leaks that have surfaced so far. If you wish to watch more of such content in the future, do not forget to subscribe to Gadget Byte and hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time we upload an awesome new video. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and thank you for watching.